Hello fellow listeners, um, pardon my voice, I'm a little bit sick, but I couldn't wait to talk about this topic, so let's start. Well, this is why we need to start making a change on our economic, politic, and social system, and um, I'm gonna evaluate many characteristics of it, like, uh, as I just said, economics and the supposed meritocratic uh, world we live in that is completely false or to an extent. So here I'm gonna evaluate how meritocratic uh, like ideals are impossible to like recreate because not everyone has the same chances on being successful, like a poor family, that has children will more certainly uh, get that children to to continue being poor because of the little education, the little opportunities that are presented to them. That's a very sad um, topic to talk about. Another thing is economics and socials. Um, Many of the uh, actual problems we have or mental health and why do I relate mental health with economics well uh, let's give an example you're in a work you're having work you need to feed your family you need to uh, end up gaining and introducing yourself to this economic system which is very important because it's the only one we have like in this third world countries or some of them and first world So imagine you're in that work and you need to bring sustain to the table to your family and which is something that a lot of people do around the world and is completely understandable. But the problem is um, meritocratical uh, thinking and meritocratical policies um, don't have have that little law in which they don't have to um, evaluate and justify why they kicked you out of work, why they don't want to work more with you, why they don't want to pay you, and you'll end up like fired out of job just because your boss thinks that's suitable for the company and because you're not a good worker, which in reality it's impossible to know because um, all humans are unique and you're a complex human being. What do I mean by this? Like, nobody is exactly the same. Everybody has different ideas. You might all go through the same river and current, but you always have that little angle of tilt where you different yourself to everybody. And it's kind of... It's kind of beautiful thing to know. And... Uh, it's pretty sad that this system we live, we live on like stops you from being unique because you have to adjust to what the system and what the policy say just because end up you'll end up dying from hunger, you won't work and you'll be measured by some grades maybe in school by your by your thinking in class by your work on your effect efficiency on certain tasks you might get on i don't know a, a law firm just to give an example and we need to change this we need to change how we see the world we need to change this absolutely unstable way of political as i said in the beginning political economic and social Um, community we have because maybe in politics another quick example have you ever seen uh, any ruler any politician that has promised something and they actually commit to it no it's because they can't do anything about it and you just go like in example Colombia the one that suits more your ideas but it's not exactly your idea So that's why 
uniqueness in our world is completely overseen then goes to a second plane of existence. You have to suit up to the idealistic world of how man or woman has to be. Thank you very much.